Hello, Nelly. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? How was your day? What is it? Uh, uh, how are you? Uh, your voice uh, drops. I, I have problems with my Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. All right. So, how was your day? Uh, was boring. <laughs> okay. You were home all day? Yes. Okay. When, when were you supposed to have your... 19. What is it? All the quarantine. <laughs> yep. When when were you supposed to have your annual vacation? Um in in January. Okay. So you took your vacation in January? No. You didn't? No, uh, I didn't. Okay. We have the option if if I want to work or Oh, or rest. If I do, yes. Okay, so you decided to work. Yes. All right. Well, you but did. I well. need by Kate because I. I, <laughs> yeah. I, as I was working for three years. Okay. So. Without vacation. Uh huh. Okay, so, so it was time to. I was stressed. Yeah. So, so necesitaba como un descanso. Yes, you needed a rest. Right. Yeah, I needed a rest. But I. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah. But now I want to work. <laughs> <laughs> everybody wants to work. Like, you know, like everybody says, oh, I need vacation. I need to rest. But when you stay home like 45 days, two months, then you say, man, I need to work. I need to do something. So, but we'll see what happens. Pamela and Claudia, how are you? Hi, good I'm morning. good. All right. Thank you. Hello, okay. everybody. Hello. How are you, Claudia? How was your day, I'm Claudia? You? Well, um, working. Okay. All day. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. And you, Pamela? I'm fine. Um, working too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you are working from your house, um, you don't need to, you don't need, do, do you have a dress code? No, we, we don't uh, do video chats. Oh. Just in the computer, but without video. Okay. All right. So the customers, they never see you. No. <laughs> All right. That's good. All right. So today is May 21st, 2020. We finish the level today. Um, I'm not sure how many people in this group have sent uh, your documents already. Uh, based on the number of documents that Inglés Corporativo receives, they make the decision if we start this coming Monday or we start until the next, uh, uh, until the following one. So it depends how many people have okay. sent their documents. So we'll see. 
Anyways, um, do you guys remember what we did yesterday? Do you remember we, the topics? We talked about uh, model verbs. Okay. And, and model verbs in the past. Okay, good. Now, what's the what, what is the function of a modal verb in general? Like if I said, what's the function of should? What's the function of could? What's the function of must? What would be your answer? Um. What is the function of all the models in particular? There. Every model gives a specific meaning to the verb. Exactly, exactly. So I can say, I should dance, I can dance, I will dance, I must dance. I'm using the word, the verb dance with different models and every sentence expresses a different meaning. What is the form of the verb when you're using models? Yeah. Claudia, Nelly, what is the form of the verb? Mm. Present. Base form. Base form. Yes. Yeah, it's base form. So uh, you tell your friend, you should see a doctor. You must take medicine. You could get worse. So whenever you're using a model, the form of the verb is always uh, base form. It's always base form. Okay. Any questions about what we said yesterday about the uh, models? We have to use model plus ha plus past verb. Okay, model plus have, and what is the form of the verb? Past participle. Good. Um, so when you're using models in a general way, models, they give an, a specific verb, uh, an, a specific meaning to the verb. When you use them in past, you use them exactly how you express it right now. You use the model yes. plus have plus the past participle of the verb. Yes. Okay. Um, and remember, uh, it depends what exactly you want to say, what exactly you want to say in the message. Uh, what's the auxiliary we use to give suggestions or advice? Which one should? is it? Should. Should is correct. What is the one you use when something is mandatory? Must. Must. Very good. What is the one you use for possibilities? Possibilities. Might, may, could, or okay. can. Good. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. May. Yes. May, might, could. Uh, you use them for possibilities. Now, which one do you use for hypothetical situations? Hypothetical. Um, would. Would. Would is correct. So the same way you answer right now, you use exactly the same thing when you want to use them in past. So... Um, what is the one you use for possibilities? Cool. Good. So imagine that your friend, he or she falls from the second floor, but nothing happens to her or him. But you tell her or you tell him, hey, te pudiste haber quebrado algo. How do you say that? You should. Uh -uh. No. It, it, it's a possibility. Remember that you use should have, when you're giving advice about what the person okay. should have done. 
Okay. So when you say, te pudiste saber quebrado algo, uh, what is the, right. So how will you it say? Have, uh -huh. it, it could it have, have broken. Your legs, your, your arms, or whatever you landed on. Yes, that was a possibility. Now, let me give you another example. Um, you have a friend, and this friend is very serious. It's not talkative. But one day you see him, he's very talkative, he's smiling and everything. So you are very sure that he received good news. How would you say, debió haber recibido buenas noticias? You're very sure no. about that. He must. He must have received. Received what? A good news. <laughs> okay, good. So you said, hey, uh, my vecino, he's, 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 he's not friendly. He's not talkative. But today he is. So you say to yourself, he must have received good news. He must have received good news. Good. Okay. okay. Um, any questions or comments about models in past? How do you say no. rompere in English? Uh, tear. Tear. Okay. Tear. 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 What is the past tense of tear? Torn. Torn. In the Torn. past participle? Torn. 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 So, okay, so you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. You're angry with this person and you tear the pictures. And then you tell your friend, hey, no las hubieras roto. How do you say that? You shouldn't have torn, torn. that. Torn it. Turn them. If it's plural, you say them. If it's just one, you say it. You say, man, you shouldn't have turned it. Turn it or turn it. Turn uh -huh. them. If it's plural, if it's two or more, you say them. Man, you shouldn't have turned them. If it's just one, you say you shouldn't have turned it. So uh, that is how you uh, use it. How do you say no hubieras tomado bus? How would you say you that? You shouldn't uh -huh. have taken. Take a bus. Okay, you shouldn't have taken the bus. How do you say, pudiste haber tomado Uber? You could have taken uh -huh. Uber. Good. So you tell your friend, look, you shouldn't have taken the bus. You should have taken an Uber. Good. All right. Um, esta, esta memoria RAM no, no calza porque es de BR3. No sé. Okay. How do you say casarse in English? Get married. Get married. Get married. Get married. What is the get past married. tense of get married? Got married. Got married. Get. Got married. What get is the past married. participle? Uh, got, gotten, gotten, getting married, gotten married, gotten, gotten married. So imagine that you are only 18 years old and you already married. Three months after, you're changing your mind, and then you tell your best friend, "No me hubiera casado tan temprano, tan pronto, tan joven." How will you say that in English? Shouldn't have. Shouldn't get married. Shouldn't I have. shouldn't have gotten married that young. Exactly. I shouldn't have gotten married that young, that early, that soon. Yes. How do you say me hubiera esperado? I should have waited. I should have waited. Okay. Wait. What is the contraction of should have? Should. 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 Should have. Should have. Should have. So you said I should have waited. You say the the president shouldn't have asked people in the Congress. The president shouldn't have said that. 
So that's going to be your next exercise, your first exercise. I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. You will talk about things or regrets, if you want to call it, uh, about things you didn't do in the past and now you wish you did. Or things that you did in the past, but you wish you hadn't done. Now, if you don't want to share aspects about your life, you can talk about the president, you can talk about the Congress, you can talk about anybody or anything, just make sure that you use past models in the, in the sentences. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes. All right, so. Voy a dejar la compu un rato ahí y voy a, 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 a las clases, después la voy a guardar. Here we go. Uh -huh. okay, I, today I should have woken up earlier. Okay. And um, teacher? No. Yes, sir. Um, no, si va a enviar algo. No, um, work. No, um, you were supposed to be talking about regrets, about things you did in the past, but now you wish you hadn't done, or things you didn't do, oh. but now you wish you had. For example, uh, you said, "Man, I should have finished my university." Okay. I should have saved money uh, to buy a car. I mean, things that you wish were different in your life. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay thanks. All right. Okay, Nelly, entonces. Come in. Hi, teacher. Hello, Alan. I'm alone. <laughs> really? Okay, let me reassign you. Who was your partner? I I don't know. <laughs> I just have seen that that I am alone before to to start the the, the activity. Okay. All right. Let me move you. Example. Mm -hmm. If I I. I, I, ¿cómo se dice? Yo llegué. I, huh? I arrived late to the work. I should, I should have wake, woke, woke up. Sorry, woke up. Woken up. Early. Woke up early. Woken up early. Yes, okay. that's a very good sentence. I should have woken up earlier. Earlier, yes. Good. Okay. Um, well, in my lunch, I eat too much today. Um, I shouldn't have 
uh, eat too much. Eaten. Eating too much. Yes. Eat, ate, eaten. Eating. Eaten. I shouldn't have eaten too much. Good. Okay. Okay, but um, what you should or shouldn't have done? I I should I should have seen before uh, the memory the memory model. <laughs> okay. Because it's different. <laughs> I should have I should have seen the model of my memory before to get it. All right. Okay. I should have eaten more fruits on the day. Um late of quarantine. Um, I sh should practice more exercise. I should have. I should have. Okay. Practice more exercise. Practice more exercise. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, do you guys have any questions or comments about past models or models in past? Yes, teacher. Do you have a question, Pamela? No, no, no. Okay, anybody else, any questions or comments? Now, this topic in particular, is one where a lot of practice uh, needs to be done. So for you to master some topics in English, it will demand mm -hmm. it will demand a lot of practice from you. Okay, so let's change activities. Um, Teacher, yes, just a question. Yes, when we use been have uh what do you mean exactly nelly uh, for example sometimes uh you say you should be or you should have okay uh, okay remember that we use past models when we are giving an opinion or your reaction about something that already happened or something that didn't happen, but you're still giving your opinion. So I told you guys the, the, yesterday, the day before yesterday and today, that um, when you're using models in past, you use the model plus have plus the verb in past participle. Now, when you make the question about being, remember that being is the past participle of the verb be. Mm -hmm. So we have am, is, are in present, was, were in past, and been, B-E-E-N, in past participle. So uh, if I did something and my mother doesn't like it, she will tell me, you should have been more responsible. Debió haber sido más responsable. So you use been, B-E-E-N, because been is the past participle of be. I don't know if that was your question, Nelly. Okay. Okay, I I is it clear? Teacher. Yes. And always we have yes. to use have. You have to, yes. And without should, sorry, with should and shouldn't. 
Yes, it, it doesn't okay. matter if, if it's positive or negative. Um, okay. How do you say, no hubieras dicho eso? You should... Shouldn't... Have? You shouldn't have said that. Okay, you shouldn't no have... No hubieras dicho eso. So, now, if I it. tell you, how do you say, lo hubieras dicho? Then you say, you should have said it. You should have said that. So when the information is negative, the model takes the negative form. So you say should enough, could enough, okay. must enough, and so on. So have, auxiliary have, is always present, and it doesn't matter if the sentence is positive or negative. Okay, thank you. Yes. Anybody else, any other questions or comments? No. All right. Um, do you guys remember when you took your first English course in whatever academy? Yes. Okay. Um, before I continue, uh, how many grammatical tenses do we have in English? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve is correct. Uh, what is the first tense you usually see? Simple present. Simple present. What is the function of the simple present? To talk about right. daily Action. routines. Okay, daily routines. Things that Nelly? happen all the time. Okay, things that happen all the time. Nelly, you were going to say something? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Despite an action or condition okay good so if you go back to basic one when you began in whatever academy um books usually have the simple present tense as the first tense of all and we use the simple present to describe conditions to describe things that happen all the time and what is the function of the present continuous? Talk about things that are happening now. Right. So with the simple present, we're talking about things in general, present continuous. We're talking about actions that are taking place in this particular moment. So I can say, I am from Santana, but I'm staying in Lourdes right now. Um, or I can say, I am an English teacher, but now I'm doing, um, I'm driving for Uber. So you make a comparison between the things you do all the time and what you're doing right now. Now remember that you can perfectly use the simple present and the present continuous to talk about um, future actions. But for you to do that, you need to have a time expression. Any questions or comments about those two tenses? Mm, no, teacher. Okay, anybody else? No? No. All right, so let me um, show you the... Um, the sheet that I want you to see, and it's right here if I'm not mistaken. So can you see the image? Yes. Okay, so we have present simple versus present continuous. So once again, if the information is general, you use present simple. If the action is happening at the time you're speaking, then you use present continuous. Is that clear? Yes. All right. So let's do it. Teacher. <laughs> uh huh. I'm not in a breakout rooms. Okay, hold on. Uh, three, four. All right, move to four.
Do you sure? <laughs> yes. I already I'm not moved, I already moved you to room four, but it says that you're not joined. Okay, I'm gonna Can you hear me? David never clean up after his mess. Okay. Deborah is preparing dinner at the moment. Okay. Good. I'm talking with my friend now. Clean up after Um, never cleaning. Nunca limpia. So, so what is the answer for the first one? David, mm -hmm. the number one. Uh huh. David, um, David never, never clean up. Never clean cleaning up. Okay, mm -hmm. never cleans up. Cleans up. Cleans up. Uh huh. Up. Because uh, David is third person singular. So with the third person singular, you're supposed to add S to the main verb. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. David never. Uh, clean. Never clean. is cleaning, cleaning up after his mess. I think it's clean. I think it's present as it seems because he mentioned that it's happening all the time because say David never. It's never when when you say never that is an action that it's never happening, not gonna happen tomorrow or after tomorrow or after after two days so that it's happening all the time that it's that it's a uh, tense for simple present you are right yes yes so never cleans okay. up in in uh -huh, never clean up after cleans his up. mess cleans up mm -hmm. is that correct teacher to hold in in venice Okay. Anyway, let's do it again. Deborah is preparing. It's preparing dinner at the moment. It's preparing. It's preparing. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's preparing. Um, number three. No. Is he? Playing basketball now? Look, our cat is sleeping. Are you coming to the party? <laughs> what time to the bank open? Teacher, is that correct? Which what number? To the bank? Number eight. What time do the bank open? Okay, let me see it. Um, what time? Uh, now, when you say the bank, is that singular or plural? Singular. Okay, so what is the what one? The exactly. What time does the bank open? Good. What time does the bank open? Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's continue the number five. 
Yes, you number are. Number five. Okay. It's he playing he's playing basketball. He's playing basketball now. Is it a he's sentence or a question? Oh. oh, it's a question. Is he playing basketball now? Good. Is he playing? Is he playing basketball? Okay, number. is when we add s at the end of the of the verb mm, maybe yes you put s mm -hmm. at the end of the verb when you're using the simple present tense but just with he she and it exactly right? only with he she yes. it can you help me with number 10 Number 10, I'm really sorry, dear, but you don't meet our criteria. Okay. What is the meaning of that sentence? I don't get it. Uh, I'm really sorry, dear, but you don't meet our criteria. Usted no tiene nuestro perfil, por decir así. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. You guys finished already? Yes. All right, let's go yes. back. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I need a volunteer to do number one, please. I will do a t-shirt. Okay, Alan. So let me check the image before. David never cleans up after his mess. Good. David never cleans. You put uh, S because David is he. Very good. Another volunteer for number two. Deborah. Uh -huh. Vladimir, Melvin, Nelly. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Deborah is preparing dinner at the moment. Okay. Number three. Oh, I'm I'm talking with my friend now. Good. Number four. Number four. We have we have a briefing every Monday morning. Good. Number five. Is he playing, playing basketball now? Yes. Is he playing basketball now? What about number six? Look at, the, look at our cat. I'm sleeping. Sleeping. Uh-huh. Look. Our cat is sleeping. I'm sleeping. Uh-huh. What about number seven? Are you coming to the party? Good. Number eight. What time is the bank open? Okay, you can say what time is the bank open or you can say what time does the bank open? Is or does? Oh, so we, uh, does, does or is, is, okay. Yep, but what time is the bank open is, is valid too. It's valid too, okay. Sure, sure. What about number nine? Are you kidding me now? Are you, Are kidding, you me now? kidding me now? When do you use that uh, idiomatic expression? Anybody, are you kidding me? Está bromeando. Yeah. It's like when someone doesn't believe you or someone doesn't take your word. You say, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? What about number 10? I'm really sorry there, but you know, but you meet for criteria. Okay, one more time, Alan. I'm really sorry there, but you, you... You meet for criteria. Mm, actually, the the, the 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 answer has to be negative. You see that negative. they have the word not. 
So I'm really sorry, dear, but you don't you? Uh-huh. Don't, don't, don't meet. Do not meet. Don't meet all criteria. Okay. Yeah. I have but seen the you, word not. <laughs> uh -huh. I have seen the word. But so. you don't meet our criteria. What about eleven? Everyone. Everyone is working on the project now. Good. And number twelve. Uh huh. Anybody? We usually call our leadership training in Rome, but this year we call holding uh -huh. in, in in Venice. 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 Good. Venice. So we usually hold our leadership training in Rome, but this year we are holding it in Venice. Um, like I told you at the beginning, you can use present simple or present continuous to talk about future events. But with one condition, you need to have a time expression. So I can say, what are you doing when the emergency finishes? What are you doing? Que vas a hacer? Where are you going when you have your vacation? Where are you going? A donde vas a ir? when you have your vacation. So you can use the simple present, you can use the present continuous to talk about future events and grammatically speaking, it's okay. Any questions or comments? No teacher, it's, it's clear. Okay. Now let's change topics now. Now, these are usually the first two tenses that we meet when we start studying English. Uh, then you see the simple past, the simple future, present perfect, past perfect, blah, blah, blah. And you finish studying or seeing the 12 tenses. Now, there is a time when, you, when you're having a conversation, a real conversation, you use the simple past and the present perfect to indicate different things. Can someone refresh my memory and tell me what the function of the simple past tense is? It's an action that happening and in, in don't repeat and never, um, no, 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 continue. Uh-huh, good. Yes, uh, the simple past, we're talking about, like Melvin said, the simple past, we're talking about actions that do not continue in the future, that are completely finished. That is the simple past tense. What are the auxiliaries we use for the simple past tense? Somebody, anybody. Please. What are the the auxiliaries that we have for simple past tense? Uh, did. Or? Was. Or? Where? Were. So when you're using simple past tense, like Melvin said, you're talking about actions that are completely finished. And you use auxiliaries, did, was, or were. were. If you're talking about actions, you use did. If you're talking about conditions, you use was or were. Now, what is the function of the present perfect? Mm -hmm. To describe uh, action that, that it's happening all the time. Okay, someone else? Someone else wants to give it a try? What tense is this? Uh, present perfect, Pamela. Present perfect. Mm. So, I, I uh -huh. was reading about that. Uh huh. And we have to add the auxiliary to have. 
and the past participle. Yes. In the verb. That is correct. Now, what is the function? Melvin said that we use the simple past tense to talk about actions that are finished. That's the function. We use the present perfect for the opposite. We use the present perfect to express actions that are not finished. Have you been in Guatemala before? Anybody? Yes. yes. Okay. So how do you say yo he estado en Guatemala dos veces? I have been I in have Guatemala, been Guatemala twice. twice. Good. I have been in Guatemala twice. Why do you use the present perfect? Because maybe in December, maybe next year, maybe on your next vacation, you will visit Guatemala again. So that action, even though right now you're in El Salvador, that action is not finished. Because Guatemala is still there. It's just two hours from here and you can go back anytime that you want. So you said, I have been in Guatemala two times. Now, what time did you start uh, today's class? At nine. nine. Okay, at nine. So you said, I have been in my English class since nine o'clock. And you're still here. And you're still connected. So the action is not finished. So what I'm saying is this, when you use the present perfect, you use it under two circumstances. One, uh, when you're saying it, you're not doing the action, but you can do it again in the future. So it's not finished. Or when you're speaking, you are doing the action. So once again, the action is not finished. So present perfect, we use it to talk about actions that are not finished. And like Pamela said, when you use present perfect, you use auxiliary have or has. And the form of the verb is always past participle. Any questions there? Uh, what is the difference between present perfect and past participle? Okay, uh, past participle, it's only the form of the verb. Like, um, like when you use uh, the simple present tense, the form of the verb is base form. When you use the simple past tense and the information is positive, the form of the verb is in past. When you use the present perfect, the form of the verb is past participle. So past participle makes reference to the form of the verb. It's not a tense? No. No, no. It's only the form of the verb. Okay. Yes. So how do you say the dormir in English? Between, between the tenses. Uh huh. The difference between the tenses are only uh, about or or the base of the of the verb of the okay. of the form of the verb. Excuse me. So right. You... Yes, and remember, you have twelve tenses. Every tense has a different function. Every tense has a different structure. And there is one particular form of the verb for each tense. Sometimes it's base form, sometimes it's ing, sometimes it's in past, and sometimes it's in past participle. So the past participle form of the verb is only one fraction of all the, the structure. Okay. Yes. Any questions? With present perfect, we always use uh, the auxiliary have. Or has. It depends have on the have. personal pronoun. Have and has, they have exactly the same function. The only difference is if you're using he, she, it, you need to use has. All the other personal pronouns you use have. But we always use the auxiliary. Exactly, exactly. How do you say planchar in English? Iron. I don't, iron. I don't remember. Yes, iron. 
Iron. Just iron. like hierro. Iron. So how do you say, ella ha planchado por cinco horas? She has iron. Been iron. She has ironed. Uh, she, she has, has iron for five hours. Five hours. Uh -huh. She has iron for five hours. If you say she has been ironing for five hours, that is present perfect continuous. And that is another tense. Now with the present perfect continuous, when you're speaking, uh, you're making reference for something that you began in the past and you are always doing it when you are speaking. Yep. Any questions or comments? No, no teacher. No, no. Okay, can you can you use the present perfect to talk about one thing you have done this year? have learned or or i have improved my english <laughs> okay all right that's that's a very good example i have improved my english right what what is another example people i have start i have started uh, to to take or to yeah it, it there is the wait or i have started to take english class Okay, sure. I have started to take English classes. Uh-huh. Good. Anybody else? Mention one example of something you have done this year. Mm -hmm. I have got, or I, or I have gotten, I have got, right? I have got a new a new job. Okay, I have gotten a new job. Yes, that is good. I have gotten a new job. Good. Anybody else? Melvin, si Pamela. Yo digo, si yo digo, he, he empezado o iniciado a ver una serie. Eh, it's correct that I have started watching a series. Yes, I have started watching a series yes is that present perfect or present perfect continuous no it, it's present, present perfect, perfect. no it's present no. perfect i have started watching or i have started to watch a new series it's present perfect but but why but but uh, what, uh, because when you say, I have started, uh, you're using the past participle form of the verb. And that's why it's classified as present perfect and not present perfect continuous. Now, let me give you an example of present perfect continuous. I have, sure. yes. But if she is uh, still watching the series, uh -huh. Probably not. Uh, maybe it's it's gonna be present perfect. That is, she has started to watching. Right. Yeah. Now, if she says, "I have been watching a new series," then it's present perfect continuous. We always use the auxiliary have or has been. Uh, it depends on the personal pronoun that you're using. If you're using present perfect. You need to use has or he, he, it. If you're using any of the other personal pronouns, then you have to use have. We always uh, use been. Have uh, or has been. Okay, you can say she has been the president for five years. He has been the president for five years. Or you can say they have been presidents for five years. So you always use been. Cero estar. I can say 
I have been watching a series since the beginning of the quarantine. Sure, you can. Yes, you can. Yep. Okay, so people, um, about our next course, um, I was telling um, the, the, the people that were on time that it depends on how um, the number of documents that they receive, they will decide if the course continues this coming Monday or if we will leave it until the following week. So uh, it, whatever decision they make, you guys will either receive an email or you will receive a, a message in your WhatsApp group. So just make sure that you're checking uh, those two so you guys are informed if we continue this coming Monday or the following one. Okay. So um, thank you very much for your time. I hope to see you soon again. And thanks a lot. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Right. Thank you, teacher. Yes, um, Alan. Do we gonna receive an an a diploma? How you say diploma in English? Uh, yeah, the platform gives you a diploma that you can print. So you get to a point after you get a certain percentage, um, and it gives you the option to print it, Alan. Ah, okay. That's because I, I haven't seen that. that yeah. So go back gonna... and, and check, and, and there's going to be a part where, you, where it offers you a diploma, and it gives you the option to print it. Because I'm the platform on on the cell phone, on my cell phone. Mm. Uh huh. And uh, where where can I check on the cell phone? Uh, I don't because remember I have trouble exactly. with my computer today. Uh, I don't remember exactly where you can see it, but there is a page. There is a part where it tells you. Congratulations, you have passed to uh, pre-intermediate too, and it gives you the option to print the diploma. Yes. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, so look for it. If you don't find it, ask me again, and, um, and I'll tell you uh, uh, where to find it. Okay, teacher. Thank All you. All right, you guys have a good night. Night, everybody. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Have a good night, T-shirt. All right, you too. Likewise.